Oh, Hey guys, we're in Nashville now. Uh, we made it. We're just north side of Nashville. We didn't really go through Nashville. We could sit in the distance, but we like to avoid that anyway, especially with the camper on the back. But um, on our way here from what was the state park? Montgomery Bell. Montgomery Bell State Park. We it took us the scenic route. Like it was pretty, pretty nice looking and everything. And then all of a sudden, there was devastation. Like complete devastation and uh, we looked it up and that's where those tornadoes and floods happened back in December and it it looks like the hurricane area whenever we went back for the hurricane after it went through Louisiana and it's it's pretty sad it's messed up pretty bad we know a lot of people lost their lives there so but we just happened to you know we just happened to go through there it, the way it took us back to Nashville and uh, yeah so it was it looked pretty rough but we we are now in nashville and uh we got us some chicken some hot chicken some of our hot chicken and we got it from moore's moore's spicy chicken spicy fried chicken yeah we've seen videos with them so we had to try it. We've tried a couple other places, so we had to try that. I got hot. They have hot, extra hot, and extra, extra hot or something like that. Yeah. I got like the middle ground, even though we I asked, like spicy, I but he asked, recommended. I said, what should a guy from Louisiana get? And he said, ha ha ha, this is different. <laughs> yeah, so. so I'm trying hot, and if it's not hot enough, uh, next time I'll get the one step up, but this is kind of the middle ground kind of thing. She got medium. And I have a feeling it's going to be too hot for her because she can't take spice right now. Because I'm wimp. But check it out. This is the, this one's his. Mm. I just got, oh, you see that? Yeah. leg and a wing. Leg pointer. Leg and a thigh. Yeah. Yep. But with some baked beans and some fried okra and some pickles and pickles of course but <laughs> we're gonna eat this and we're on our way to louisville louisville yeah louisville i don't know heading to kentucky a, we're heading to kentucky hey Brielle, That's are a, we heading to kentucky she's kind of excited about kentucky yeah she's been smiling about <laughs> kentucky she likes that word or something i guess but yeah we're going to eat this and then um uh, Head north, it says we're about two hours and 45 minutes from Louisville. Oh my Ooh. God. <laughs> Woo! He ain't lying. I even got medium. <laughs> I knew it. But these days when I eat spicy and I love spicy, but I get all it's weird. It just feels all weird in my throat. Yeah, but that was good. Um the spice and the taste I liked more. It was drier than Hattie B's. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it was cooked a little bit too long. We've had another place, but I can't remember yeah, the name that, of it right I now. I would have I bet I could find it, but the original place I ate at was I liked the most out of all of them. Hey. Hang on. And then, uh, but we've had Hattie B's and it was juicy, juicy, but I, I, it, I don't know if I got the right <laughs> spice there. This one, whoo, it was spicy. Yeah, it was spicy. It huh? was. We didn't give you huh. any. I know. Nah. There's nothing about it that we could have gave her no. on that one. Hey, but yeah, we're heading, we're going to head to Kentucky now. So. I think she's ready to get uh, on the road. Yep. She's ready to start moving again. I just turned. 
she gets upset because I turn off her music to do these because we can't have the music playing or it does copyright uh, violations on YouTube so we have to make it quick little talks so because she gets upset hang on but done. yeah you want your music yeah you do huh okay all right well we're off to Kentucky from Kentucky. Yesterday, we just drove. We ate at that chicken place and we just drove up. We didn't do anything, really. Just took our time getting up here. We were trying to figure out where to stay at, near Louisville. And uh, I just happened to exit on this one exit. I don't even remember why we were exiting. And we came across a sign that said, uh, birthplace of Lincoln. And they have a national historic park. So we were gonna go check out that to see what it was all about. It was like six o'clock. And then when, once we got there, they, they closed at five. So Nikki got really excited about actually, she wanted to see it. So we looked it up and we tried to find a camping site nearby. And 10 minutes down the road, we found this gym. I mean, this is, look at this. We're on the lake. But yeah, we're on the lake. It's beautiful, it's cold. Uh, it's the coldest day so far. Uh, I think it's supposed to get down to like 24 last night. Hear the geese, the geese talking to you. But yeah, it's pretty cold right now. Um, but we're getting moving early this morning because we want to get to that Lincoln's Birthplace Park and check it out and get on our way to uh, Louisville we're gonna do a tour in Louisville also so uh, we want to get an early start today our plan is at the moment tentative plan is to get to somewhere around Cincinnati today and find a spot to camp near Cincinnati and then tomorrow night we're gonna head into Ohio so that's our plan but yeah these this is free campsites right on the water there's two over here the fire pit right by ours and the fire pit right down by the water and then on the other side there's two more fire pits to well it actually looks like they might have used to been fire pit right here too i think we found another favorite for when we come to kentucky we're gonna get moving we're gonna get on our way and uh try to get unfrozen So what do you think about our, our find? I really like it. I just keep thinking about how we keep finding all this stuff and it's too cold to take part in any of it. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best time of year. But it's pretty. It is pretty. It looks like in Kentucky, like, I think in Louisiana they have wildlife fishery areas and stuff like that that they, you can set up if you're going to hunt and everything. Uh, yeah, they have free camping and in other western states they have like BLM land and national forest land and state this and state that. Well it looks like in uh, Kentucky where you can free camp is at boat launches. There's a boat launch right there. They have like free, we saw several on our, several on our app of the free campsites and they're almost all of them at boat launches. So, but I was picturing something other than this as a boat launch. Our boat launches don't have this big area of grass and places to park and fire pits and, and stuff like that. So, we were skeptical at first and then we got out here and we were, hey. We can do this. this is, we thought we were just going to be parking in the parking lot where the boat people park their trailers and stuff like that. That's what we thought. Um, we also set this up last night. Yeah. 
first time, but came in handy. Talk about frozen buns. Whew. Yeah, but it worked. It was great. Gotta put on Kentucky now. Cause we stayed in Kentucky finally. Last time we came through, we stayed in Indiana. So. Crooked, but oh well. Filling the end, huh? Yeah, filling it in. Got a lot of more states to go this trip, too. Yeah, you know, next one will be Ohio. Sadly, we probably won't even hit West Virginia. We may hit West Virginia. We <laughs> may. We're going to be really close to West Virginia, so we may go over the state line. And See what they got over there. We've never been to West West Virginia, so. All right, well, we're gonna get packed up, get going, go see Lincoln's birthplace, and uh, should be neat. Looks neat, so we're going. So we made it over here to Lincoln's birthplace. Oh, we're gonna go on in and see what it's all about, but it looks pretty neat. There's an actual Lincoln monument over there cabins over and some there. cabins and different things. So we're gonna go inside the visitor center here and we're gonna go and see what it's all about. We'll let y'all see it too. Young Abraham Lincoln also loved to tell a good story. And I think it began way back really back in Kentucky, when, as it was said, his, his home there was on the Cumberland Trail. You see that? You see it? You have fun? We're heading up this long walkway that goes up to the, I guess the monument that they constructed for him, for his, for Abraham Lincoln's birthplace. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Look at this one. It looks brand new. All the wood looks brand new. It's super nice. But it looks like we're having to walk a long ways. We've already walked a long ways. Well, we made it up here. This is the memorial for Abraham Lincoln. It's at his birthplace here in Kentucky. But it was built in 1909. And uh, they added 56 steps to get up here for the 56 years of his life. But yeah. Looks like it should be in, uh, in Washington, D.C the way it's built. But we're about to go inside and check it out. So this is sunken spring, sinking spring. Um, they say this is possibly where Lincoln took his first drink of water. It was actually the reason that his dad purchased this land where he was born. It's pretty cool looking.
that's pretty neat. Inside the memorial itself, it has a, it's a replica of the cabin that they lived in. It's not an actual cabin, we asked. Uh, but it is made from wood from that time period. And uh, they had pictures of the actual cabin, cabin, so we got some of that. But yeah, we, when we walked in there, we didn't expect to see a, a log cabin in the middle of the memorial. But we're about to head to Lincoln's childhood home. And that's not far down the road, so we're going to check it out. We made it to Lincoln's Knob Creek Farm. Uh, it's his boyhood home. Uh, it's pretty. It's a farm all in the back and the, the house, the cabin. It's super nice out here. In between two mountains, like in a valley. But it's closed. So we can't go in and see it or anything like that. Uh, I guess closed for the season is what it seems like. It, you know, it's supposed to open up later. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. I like it. I like to go see in it. But these are just random little little things that we've seen like driving down the road I say well, let's go check that out and uh, that's what we're trying to make this trip out of we haven't made any kind of plans like oh we have to go see this we gotta go see that we're trying to be spontaneous on this trip and this is this is one of the examples of it like had no idea that Lincoln's boyhood home or his birthplace was over here had no idea I'm not the best at history so but it's, it was nice to actually see That didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. We, uh, our whole plan was to come here to Louisville, and everybody knows, especially baseball fans, Louisville Slugger. And uh, our plan was to go tour the factory, check it out, but we had no idea that the factory was actually in downtown Louisville, like downtown. And we could not find the parking and we almost got run over about 10 times <laughs> and where we could find parking i don't think our camper would still be there when we got back so, so maybe, we next gave up. maybe next time yeah, maybe next time maybe next time instead we're gonna head towards cincinnati now and hopefully we'll be able to find something away from the city to be able to do maybe on the way we actually heard about a park in Cincinnati that we could take rail to. It's actually a tree house that is wheelchair accessible. So, kind of want to try to find that and check it out. But yeah, that's where we're going to head to now. I was excited, so excited about uh, Louisville Slugger. I mean, that's just, it's pretty cool looking. There's a, about a hundred foot bat. bat in front of it standing straight up in the air angled in there but it's uh i had no idea it was gonna be like in downtown continue on i-64 and then parking was crazy so yeah we gave up <laughs> we looked for a while yeah we did we went on all kinds of streets like here's louisville's Slugger field right here but in half a mile that's as close as we're gonna right get to louisville's Slugger. <laughs> well, we're heading to cincinnati We'll see what we can find there. I did want to get to Cincinnati kind of early because I wanted to find somewhere to stay. We've been getting places after dark and I'm not like getting places after dark. So maybe this, there's a reason for this. <laughs> We can't go on it. We we're recommended this everybody's treehouse here in Cincinnati. 
because it's wheel, wheelchair accessible and thing. But when we got here, it's just uh, just like our day's been going. It's got caution tape up there. There's people over there that shouldn't be over there. There's adults over there that just went underneath the caution tape and stuff. But we're not going to do that. But it looks like it's having issues. Like the actual treehouse part looks like it's having issues. But this is just how our day's been going. But, well, <laughs> since nothing's going right for us, and so y'all can see that uh, it's not always positivity. Sometimes life happens. Yeah, we tried. But we're gonna end this negative field video right here. Hopefully next video will be better. But yeah, we're really yeah. excited. Yeah. We were really excited about both things that didn't work out. Both of them. Dang. <laughs> anyway, we went from Tennessee to now we're in Ohio in this video. So we made a good little trick. We're in it right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. Share it. Like it. Go to Facebook. All that good stuff. Huh, Brio? All of it. That's right. Do it all. <laughs> but. That's right. Sorry for failing so much this episode. <laughs> but it happens, I guess. But until next time, we're out. <laughs> <laughs>